Hey, what is up guys? I do I help here and in this video I got some very interesting information to share with you guys. Uh, iOS 10.2 jailbreak source code was released today and this gentleman here, Ming Spark Sang, uh, tweeted a few hours ago that he added headers in the IPA file. Uh, so I went to his GitHub or the GitHub provided on that Twitter and it's right here, the Yalu 10.2 IPA file, which you can download by clicking there. And I managed to jailbreak the iPhone 6S and 6s plus on 10.2 i'm going to show you how i did that so i downloaded the file here now i don't recommend you jailbreaking just yet uh look at the desk has yet to officially announce the support uh, but as of right now uh the iphone uh, 6s and 6s plus is the devices that i'm playing around with uh so let me show you here 10.2 is the current uh, version of ios running on this one there it is 10.2 and uh, once I downloaded the software, um, all I did was install Cydia Impactor. Uh, this is for those of you who want to try it. Uh, Cydia Substrate isn't working either. I just wanted to bring this information as it develops uh, right now. Uh, we're going to wait for Luca Tedesco to officially announce anything. Uh, so I'll probably have another video for you guys tomorrow. It is 12 o'clock at midnight here. Uh, so this video is a late night video. So once you download the uh, Yalu 10.0, uh, to IPA file and you have City Impactor install all you have to do is connect your device to the computer drag and drop the IPA file over to the uh, City Impactor tool Let me go ahead and connect my device is not reading it there it is now it's reading it so now I drag the file over and I close out iTunes because it's bothering me and all I have to do now is enter my email and once I enter my email, enter my password. And once I enter the password, just click OK. And this is going to sign the application to my device, the Yalu jailbreak, which was again compiled by that gentleman that I talked about in the beginning of the video. There it is. And now we're done with the computer part. We have the application on our devices and just launch it. Just before we launch it, we have to authorize it. So it's good that that happened. Go to general. And then we scroll down right below the VPN. You'll see device management or profile and device management. Click into it. Click on your email address. Click trust, trust. And now the app will be able to launch. Cool. It may say that it's going to slow down your device because it's an application, blah, blah, blah. Just click OK. Click OK here or go. And now we're just going to wait for the jailbreak uh, to uh, happen. This is the second time around doing this on my iPhone uh, 6S Plus. Uh, so everything should work. It says retry. Let's retry. Uh, you'll see here a reboot or a respring of the device and you should see city installed again i don't recommend installing this software right now because it hasn't been 100 percent approved by the developer of the jailbreak itself and device support is very spotty again i've only tested this on the iphone 6s and 6s plus and you see there that it didn't work let's go ahead and try that again let's click go and it should respring. It kind of failed the first time around. And that's why I say it's very, very buggy. If you get that storage almost full, you can almost guarantee that you're going to get Cydia on your device after the reboot or the respring. But you saw there that it did fail the first time around. So it is it is a bit uh, unstable, uh, to say the least. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and wait for the boot up again and see if we have Cydia officially running on the iPhone 6S Plus iOS 10.2. And everything seems to be going well. Let's go ahead and continue waiting here. And boom. We should have Cydia on our springboard now. Yep, there it is. So Cydia running on the iPhone 6S Plus. Let me go ahead and launch Cydia and just uh, wait for it to launch here. Let's go ahead and launch Cydia. See how buggy it is? It's not even launching Cydia. See that? There it is. So I'm going to click there and we scroll down. We'll see 10.2 jailbroken right there let's go ahead and change refresh the log here wait for the refresh and there it is all the packages again see the substrate isn't working as more information becomes available i'll be updating you guys once it's official by uh, luca tedesco that the jailbreak is working on all devices uh stable then I'll make an official tutorial. I just wanted again to just kind of provide this information to you guys. 10.2 officially jailbroken on the 6S Plus. I tried doing it on the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. No luck. If there's any of you guys who want to attempt to do this, links are going to be in the description. Let me know if you got it to work on your device. It's when I device help and I just wanted to make this very quick and interesting update video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will catch you guys really soon. Peace.